I would take my breathing treatments almost every day and it would open up my breathing a little bit, but not that noticeable. He was constantly getting sick. Every few hours he had to take a breathing treatment and I had to be religious about it. Despite her vigilance, Shelly lives in fear of another serious attack. And by the time Cody enters elementary school, his constant cough and shortness of breath set him apart from the other children. But I've always been not the same as any other kid, not able to do everything. I would try as hard as I could, but I would find myself getting winded a lot quicker than the other kids. And as the years go by, the difference becomes even more pronounced. He tried out uh, for basketball, and he was really good at it, but he just physically couldn't get through a whole game. I got frustrated a lot. I wanted to do better all the time, and it would upset me. As a parent, your heart's breaking a little more and more each time. Then, just when Shelly begins wondering how much more she can take, the asthma attacks all but disappear soon after Cody celebrates his 12th birthday. We all thought that, oh my gosh, he beat it. We thought he'd outgrown it, and he wasn't having any more breathing treatments. I could breathe a lot better. I was feeling pretty much the best I had ever felt. I pretty much did everything normal. In high school, he actually tried out for the track team. I liked running a lot at the time. I had a lot of good friends that were in there, and so I really wanted to get into it. He was in a sport, and he was doing it, and he loved it. Shelly is thrilled to see her son transform. Cody is no longer the shy, frail little boy he once was. It's all too clear when he works up the courage to ask Serena Groshan on a date. I just kind of got a hint that he might have had a little crush on me. He'd been in love with Serena since like eighth grade. We started dating junior year. We'd started to walk together more, and that was like our special time together before and after school. But one morning in the fall of 2008, Cody is blindsided by an all too familiar symptom. I was coughing like crazy, <laughs> almost unstoppable. <laughs> I felt like I was struggling for breath or uh, there was something stuck in my throat or my lungs. He was just very tired, more out of breath, sweating. <laughs> something bad was going on. It was just very scary. In a state of panic, Cody immediately gets in touch with his mother. It was really, really out of the norm for Cody to call me at all during the day. And I knew for him to call me and actually tell me he's sick. I knew there's something so wrong with my child. 